Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's show. Well, the Secret Service, this really burns my ass, the Secret Service has told Donald Trump they would prefer he do no more outdoor rallies. Now, so typical government. Just think about this. The only thing that went wrong at Trump's last outdoor rally where he was almost assassinated was complete incompetence negligence, or intentional malice of Secret Service and our government. So it's like, oh, we screwed up, so don't do that anymore. I mean, that is the mentality of government. And while I'm speaking on this, I'll continue on the same subject. Uh, You have two, uh, what they call snipers for the government, counter snipers, that were in an area overlooking that place where Crooks was, left to go look for him. And then Grassley released a video yesterday where they're telling an FBI guy, yeah, this is the guy we saw with yada, yada, yada. The fact that they ever let him go on, Trump, is insanity. And I'm ready for my head to explode. Right now, as you're watching this, Christopher Ray, the FBI, is testifying before a House committee. I had to sit there and listen while I was working, watching Fox News. I had to listen to Jerry Nadler's opening statement completely bring up every conceivable negative thing about Trump and democracy. Then I had to listen to Christopher Ray talk about the 116-year anniversary of the FBI coming up this Friday. I'm, nothing about what the hell happened. Government sucks. So it sucks so bad. If you are stupid enough to elect a complete political hack named Kamala Harris, God help America. All right. Yesterday, Kimberly Cheadle resigned shortly after the show. And she resigned, issued a statement to all workers. She was getting bombarded from every which way. And Joe Biden has announced that he is going to appoint a replacement. Kamala. Kamala hit the West Concentration. She laundry list every left-wing BS promise to every American. Then It's all coming out about her Senate record. And I just did a Facebook Live about this. Some things I forgot to mention. She opposed fracking. She's for health care for everybody. She's for health care for illegal aliens. This is the far left wing radical candidate. There's no way in hell she's going to win. No way in hell. Uh, Meanwhile, Joe Biden disappeared for six days, showed up yesterday at Dover Airport. He is going to speak to the country at 8 p.m. tonight, explaining what he's going to do. Will he resign? Who knows? It'll be interesting. And Haley has told a... Uh, Haley for Harris Group to cease and desist using her name. Good for you, Nikki Haley. The RNC has more money on hand right now than the DNC. Good. Netanyahu protesters. Oh, they're in the Capitol Rotunda. Had to arrest about 200 of them protesting Netanyahu speaking to the joint session of Congress, which Harris is boycotting. Netanyahu's going to go to Mar-a-Lago to talk to Trump. Trump's got nicknames lined up for... Kamala Harris, including (laughs) DEI. All right, Black Lives Matter. This is incredible. Black Lives Matter group is pushing back against Kamala. They want there to be an open process. By the way, if you wonder what Barack Obama's up to, because he hasn't endorsed her, Barack Obama is pulling every level of this. He's now got Kamala out there to see how that works. He's got another candidate up his sleeve, probably Michelle, going into the convention if they need to dump her. It's incredible. Meanwhile, Trump says he'll debate Kamala as many times as they want. Now the polls. The first thing I thought about when Kamala uh, announced was this. What will independents think of this? Well, independents don't like Kamala. I was thinking, what will women think about it? Well, maybe there's an angle there. Young people, so forth. Blacks? I don't know how blacks get behind old Kamala. Latinos, I don't know how she's going to get by. All the polling shows 
that Trump is beating her in every poll. It's funny. Reuters come out with a poll that said she was beating him. But all polls, all categories, Trump's demolishing Kamala Harris. Let's hope that holds. Trump and J.D. Vance are going to go to Minnesota. I think today he's in North Carolina. Menendez says he's going to resign as a United States senator. And the Trump campaign has filed an FEC complaint to try to stop Kamala to getting that money that was meant for Biden-Harris. It looks like, by the way, too, Andy Bashir is out of the running as a VP candidate. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a goatish, burly-boned band dog like Jerry Nadler. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. <laughs>